comrades, Commissar Bro here today with the Let's Play and Making History Gold as Yan China. That's correct. If you remember last time, we uh, took over more uh, areas from our um, Chinese brethren, if you want to call them brethren. More like, you know, not really brethren because we're kind of killing them all <laughs> bit by inevitable bit. And actually, my next couple of targets is either going to be Zhang China here. Um, possibly Tibet, probably not, you know, because Tibet is considered its own culture uh, with Tibetan. So taking over Tibet really wouldn't help me much. I've already got plenty of population, and it would take a long time. All in all, it's just not really useful um, at this, you know, basically at this particular juncture. So what we're going to focus on right this moment is we're going to make sure all of our uh, transportation infrastructure is improved so that we can move our troops around faster. Um, but yeah, aside from Chang China, uh, another one of the big ones that we're looking at is uh, actual China itself, the main administrative part anyway, uh, which I guess you could consider as like the capital, even though we're pretty much the most powerful uh, Chinese country as is right now. They're the second most powerful with a pretty, pretty good amount of power behind them. And uh, in the meantime, we're just going to start just like kind of spam ending turns. We do, however, need to get our goods back up. And it looks like the USSR is losing its war badly. They just, I, I mean, they just couldn't expect that many forces to rally against their rebellion. Now, there was a pretty good chance of them succeeding had the Russians been taken out of the war altogether, but they weren't. They Maybe that's something the modders um, didn't really take into account, was to actually um, force the Russians to not, you know, basically force the Russians to be kicked out of the Entente with the rebellion. Because, I mean, they're just, with the way the game mechanics of this game work, there's not a very good chance that they would win anything. Oh, it looks like the United Kingdom has created Iraq. Well, look at that. Who are they fighting down there anyway? The Ottomans? Oh, yeah, that's right. I forgot about the Ottomans. And it looks like they're, a lot of the Ottomans' territory is conquered by Arabia and France. There actually looks like they're down to two areas. Just that one there in Trebizond and then uh, Palestine in there. So I imagine they won't hold out too much longer. Even Germany, like... All of Germany has been occupied, but they still must have something left because they haven't been defeated. What they have left, I'm not entirely too sure. Um, but I guess it doesn't really matter too much to me. I got my area that I wanted. As you can see here, Shandong. That's the only place I cared about to conquer from the Germans. So, yeah, you know, I'm, I'm happy as far as things go. Uh, let's take a look at some of these other countries. They're all upgrading, expanding industry and whatnot. And, hmm, I don't know. They're just not expanding as quickly as I would hope. Yeah, definitely not. Definitely not. However, we have a huge potential, like, industrial base here. That's uh, one of the reasons I like to play is China as well, is because China is just so much power. Um, why is Austria sending me... Uh, Okay, sure, why not? Welcome to the Greater Entente. So basically, the Entente is made up of almost every country in Europe, um, and definitely the most powerful nations in the world, because even the United States is involved. As you can see, if we zoom out here, look at that. All that light blue is the Entente. France is coming out the real winner of this war, you know, with a lot more territories, establishing a lot of different areas. Uh, look, they pretty much own all of Germany except for a few pieces there that Britain owns and even um, the Bohemia Czech Ch Chechia owns. And uh, even, who is that? Who is that? Is that Romania? Yeah, that's Romania. That Romania owns. They made out pretty well in that too. Hmm. Who else made out well in this war? Well, definitely, definitely Arabia. They've made out with a whole freaking chunk. Honestly, albeit they are kind of the more useless chunks of Turkey. But still, you know, they came out. The USSR is about to be annihilated by the Allied forces there in Russia. What is this land over here? Sure, when I'll accept it. No, nope, nobody else does. What is this? Okay, that's occupied, occupied territory. Man, I can't wait till Germany surrenders. Oh, look, look at that, look at that. They just established Finland. 
Oh, well, good for them. Good for them. What are they doing? They're Oh, they're actually giving all that land to Finland turn by turn. That's interesting. That's not something you see very often. Hmm. Interesting. Very interesting. So a lot of this is just kind of me ending my turn and proving my industrial uh, position in the world. I don't have much coal, though. I do need more coal. That's one of the problems with China. Even in the base copy or the uh, base game is they just don't have enough coal to do some serious, serious uh, industrialization. Which is, if you think about it, that's a huge problem. Because, like, look at look at our coal production. It's terrible. And there's actually places here that I haven't maximized it in, so I need to go ahead and do that. But, yeah, as you can see, that we really don't have any coal production. Um, the actual mainland China there has more, I think, than we do. Considerably more, actually. But, eh, what are you going to do, man? What are you going to do? You, just, you really just got to wait. Like, even here in Shandong... We're just we have to wait to the the Germans surrender. When the Germans surrender, we can incorporate this into our empire, and it will be a much stronger area overall. Let's take a look at let's see our transportation infrastructure is improved in many areas, but it's still not perfect. However, it's getting better. Basically, I want it to be where I can move my army around very quickly um, wherever I need them to go. I'm actually leaving these guys on the border here, these lancers, because they'll hit. Uh, Xinjiang if we go to war with mainland China anytime soon. And the, also the good thing is because I have this the Entente behind me I can pretty much do whatever I want in China without you know any type of trouble. I mean somebody might leave our alliance or they might get pissed off at me but you know I'm making out of this war really well. I've I've gained a lot <laughs> if you think about it. I've gained a whole bunch from fighting. Is Germany still not surrendered? What do they own? What do they own? Do you see a gray? I don't see a gray. I don't think they own any. They have to own something. Otherwise, they would be forced to surrender. But I don't see anything. Maybe it's something in Africa. Maybe it's an island somewhere. Maybe it's over here. It should be like red. Yes, I don't, I don't see anything. I don't know. I don't know what they still own. But they should be defeated. There's no doubt about it. Germany should be defeated by now. Hmm. Hmm, 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 hmm. I don't see any highlighted areas either. Mm, it's interesting. Very interesting. Well, I don't know. I guess we just kind of have to hope and wait that somehow Germany surrenders. Look, to see, they took back that area. And they're just going to keep doing that. Partisans will do that. If an area is not occupied, they'll just keep taking it back uh, from their new owners, which is kind of it's interesting I mean it's a fitting mechanic but at the same time it's like eh eh it, it becomes a pain when you're trying to occupy huge areas of land uh, take Russia for example Russia is a complete monster to try to take over specifically because of that reason we're gonna swap this over to goods start producing some goods there yes get that out of the way get that out of the way well I mean this is this is kind of this is the main gist of what we're gonna do for this video you know, I could go to war, but I just don't feel comfortable. There we go, Ottoman Empire surrendered. I just don't feel comfortable going to war right this moment uh, because of my lack of goods. My goods are just, they're, I don't have my ducks in a row, man. Just do not have them in a row. That's not good for me. Mm -mm. No sorry. And I'm just, you know, I'm half tempted to just leave the, un if, I, if I knew I could leave the Entente and get back in, I would. I totally would. And then just kind of conquer the you know conquer this area because this is a big reason as to my resource decline or at least my inefficiency industrially speaking anyway but then again I'm doing better than most countries in China hell I've almost I probably got more industry than Italy does let's look at Italy see what they've got going on there okay no they've been industrializing so <laughs> way to make me look stupid Italy thanks yeah good one good one I think we'll get to turn 210 and we'll call this one a We'll call this one for the day. Yes. But at least we've, we've like, doubled our resources since we started playing uh, today. So that's that's really cool. I'm really, I'm, I'm happy with that. I'm really happy with where my country is right now. You know, we're, we're well on our way to epic things, guys. We're, you know, we're, we're, we're on our way. <laughs> what else can I say? I mean, we're, I don't know. We're, I feel really comfortable with this. I feel good about it. I feel good. I just want to keep ending turns. It's one of those, um... You know, just one more turn, games. Just one more turn. Oh, God, I just love watching those industrial output go up. Look, at it's up to 190 now. 
Total 194. Oh, it went up four in one turn. Oh, this is great. I can just keep improving everything. Yes, yes, a little bit at a time. I do need more coal, though. Too bad Germany's the greatest coal producer, it seems. Wait, that can't be right. Who is it? Okay, it's the UK. I'm not even on this list. <laughs> I'm not any on any of these lists. For shame. Actually, yeah, I was. I was in food. I produced the third, third most amount of food. Our ally declared war against Italy. Uh-oh. SpaghettiOs. I'm going to reject that. I don't, I don't want to be in an alliance that declared war on Italy. But now, I'm probably in trouble with the Allied power. Did seriously everyone go along with that? Nobody, nobody said no. Nobody said no. Hmm, whatever. Well, I guess it's an interesting place to leave it, isn't it? With Italy having been declared war upon by the Allied powers having had nothing to do with the war. So, hmm, I guess we're just going to have to see what happens. I'll see you next time, comrades.